Okay, so what had happened was, is uh, we both came up with this plan to go do some walleye fishing in Lake Erie. Uh, neither have ever, neither of us have ever done it in our own boat before. We've done it like together at uh, Lake Pueblo in Colorado, other places like that. So uh, I had this problem where my boat would lose power and I had a service and actually drove it like a significant amount, like 50, 60 miles and it all worked. So uh, we left from south of Indianapolis. We made it to uh, Catawba Island and uh, we took the boat out. Had had some failures right away, but uh, if, you, if we went at low RPMs, you know, we could make it out to the spot we wanted to fish. Really, really fair weather. We have three motors. So we decided to take the risk and do it. Uh, we went out there and uh, just wanted to do like a little fact finding, identify some reef stuff like that where you know we could, we could get on the fish, set some marks so that we could go back and just, just wreak havoc the next day. So uh, we went out there and we actually really had a successful day of fishing. Uh, we identified, identified some fish, uh, put some lures down. It's, it's hard to not notice the regatta of 300 boats that's out there. So we just uh, used uh, the Hummingbird, Lake Master, maps, identified some good contours, followed them, and caught like five, six fish in a matter of a couple of hours of, of, of walleye, of the target species. We also caught a lot, a lot of large uh, freshwater drum, sheephead, uh, striped bass, yellow perch, things like that. So we went in, uh, kind of recocked, went out the next day. We knew uh, we weren't going to be able to go very fast. Uh, went back out, started probably seven, fished until about four in the afternoon, uh, caught several walleye, I think seven again, uh, one up to 24 inches. We caught several large, nice walleye, so uh, what we did on other lakes really worked, uh, plus with the assistance of Precision Trolling app, and then uh, Facebook pages that we're just talking about the current trends in the area. So we did all of that, and uh, really the only thing that held us back is uh, the, the big Mercury on the Ranger. Uh, all, the, all the features of the Ranger boat, everything on there worked really well. It's a great boat. But the Mercury's having some like fuel or electric issue. We'll, we'll include some video with some stuff like that. But uh, for the saga to, to continue, we're gonna go back and uh, Brownies Marine uh, Ranger dealer said some stuff we could do on our own is uh, check for some type of fuel restriction. So we're gonna go through see what we can see hopefully I have this confirmation bias in my mind that I've already figured it out and we're gonna do it so hopefully we do and then we'll go to Brookville and uh, start slaying some more walleye maybe bring the kids get them out there make them part of the deal but that's where we're at. Is it a perch? Let's see. 
Oh, I've had a fish for about 30 minutes. Yep. Looks like it's about the right size. We get a little flat here. Forty-seven. Shit. I am not doing this on purpose. I think I keep hitting the button with my uh Pop it under there. Very careful. Dude. You know, like. So I hit the fucking power button. So I don't think I'm gonna wear this anymore. It's the second time it's happened. So I'm just gonna so I don't put it in the lake. Just please keep tension on the line with the board. Yeah. Will you also steer the boat? Yep. We're gonna run into those guys. Uh, I can't tell you I hit the reset button on accident, so I don't know how far I am. He's coming okay. quick though. No, he's not. He, he just he stripped a bunch of line. Coming back. Coming back. Coming up. Big sheep's head. All right. So if you just want to steer, I'll take care of it. So another thing that we've been trying to do is figure out how to make and edit videos. Uh, I made one as a, just like a test back at the house of how to tie a blood knot and I just wanted to make sure that I could edit, uh, do things like that and then like uh, make sure I can talk to the camera. The hardest part is like talking to the camera and not feeling like uh, some like self-absorbed butthead. 
but the reality of it is like you just have to talk to the camera like it's a person but uh we took drone out brian the guy sitting next to me he bought a drone of a Ma mavic air yeah mavic so, air so really a really cool drone and now uh, he's able to like get it to like go around the boat uh, if the boat would have went fast we had like this idea of you know driving the boat at 20 miles an hour putting some like cool cool beat in the background i uh, you know living the dream and then like making it look like we're really good at catching fish I uh, so hopefully we can solve these issues back there kind of make them better but the overall outcomes of the first day we realized that like number one we haven't read planer boards in a long time and then we suck so we had to like relearn all of these things it's been what two years since we ran boards together yep i uh, there are a lot of little things you can do that make you a success or a failure and uh, we we remember all like the failure things and not the success things. So we kind of like kept tightening up. And uh, after the first day of reviewing the video, we realized that like we wholly sucked and we didn't realize the capabilities of the GoPro. Battery's gonna die. We put one camera and it got like a bunch of crotch shots that like if we're gonna start a only only fans, you know, like we'll have like two different two different video services. I uh, yeah the, the angle and then like the actual production that goes into it. You have to like not make a whole script but you gotta have, be able to like have like a beginning middle end to the story so on the second day i feel like we did a lot better we went back and uh we reviewed everything we realized that like hey we weren't showing a picture of the fish little things like that that really like complete the story and make it cool but for two idiots that have a gopro not so bad uh, i feel like we can stitch things together and not just have like the typical youtube video where like it's some dudes just like fishing and the sound is shitty like probably shitty sound but maybe there will actually be a story attached to it yeah gopro stop recording gopro stop recording learning to use your equipment gopro stop recording